Hi everybody, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here again with a master board that I made and it's kind of an autumn feel to it. And um, I'm not gonna work on this today, but I brought this in to just show you that when I put this together, I remarked how there were many other things or, you know, ephemera that I wanted to put on here. And this is my, and I didn't get a chance to do that. So this one is the 24 inches by nine. So I'm gonna put this aside. And what I did was I made another master board with, um, with the ephemera that I didn't use. And it's small, it's, well, it's 12 by, 12 by nine. So it's half the size. And what I did was I made the master board and it will be a, a flip, kind of like a, a flip journal type of thing. And on here I have my floral papers and I have butterflies and birds and some other little um, pieces of ephemera that I had wanted to stick on the other journal or the other cover, but I didn't have room. So what I wanna do is put some kind of, I'm gonna use my envelopes and different pieces of um, cardstock. And what I wanna do is just make this flips and tucks and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna put, um, I could make a couple of paper pads for in here you know, for journaling, and I will have tucks in here. So, um, so that's what I'm going to do. This here is a, a topper that I made from, this is the cardboard, and I have Tim Holtz material and other kinds of material on here that I layered, and then I have a piece of ephemera. I believe this is from Artie Mays, and so I'm going to use this this is my thinking on the top of there. So of course, this is gonna have two sides to this flip. So the, this side here, when I was just starting to put this together, the thoughts that I had, I just kind of, you know, gathered up some supplies that I thought I would need for what I could see in my head, if that makes any sense. So I wanted to use some of my envelopes that I had. So this is gonna be the background paper. But what, I'm, what I really wanna do is use these envelopes that I have tucks and stuff and papers to cover the envelopes. What I wanted to do is put them together and put them behind here and glue it all down. So this is the thought that I had in my head and I thought I can quickly, these here, these are envelopes, but they're pretty, so I'm gonna put them on top of the envelope. So what I was thinking, this is a flip that I made. It has a, a double, double pockets on the inside and I didn't do too much decorating on it other than the front. So I thought if I put this underneath there, so this would be decorated. And I'm gonna close these envelopes up and then maybe put pockets over here. And then this here will flip up and have journaling cards in there. And I can make it a flip, put um, material behind here to flip it up and then have um, a tuck over here, whether it be a corner tuck, a side tuck, or just a front. So that's my thought. Let's see how far we can get with this. So I think I'm just going to glue these two together. This is kind of late morning crafting for me. So I wanna make sure that these are in here so they will fold. 
and I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and glue this down to here, the two envelopes together. And then I'll glue it, attach it to that back. I'll glue the whole thing down so this way we'll have these flipping up. That sounds like a good idea. I wanted to make a journal that's a little different than what I've been making. Or a folio, whatever. I don't even know what you would call this. I would think it would be a a folio or maybe a flip journal and I don't even know if I if I would put pages in here so so far so good let's see if it stays this way okay so what I'm gonna do is how I usually attach this I'm just going to hold it down with my hand and then get glue in here. It's a very full day today, very, very autumn like it's cool outside and it's quiet. Let me use my little towel there yeah it's nice to do something different with your with your journals here isn't it and I wanted to get these done so I can start with my Christmas projects I'm so excited to do those folios and some master boards with them with my Christmas ephemera. Whoops, this glue is seeping out here. Uh oh. The paper I have in here is kind of plain because I wasn't sure. I didn't want to have it too busy because, you know, I want to be able to decorate the envelopes as best I can. So I have this here I'm going to put, I have to get my material and I think I'm going to use this as a flip up. So I was thinking here. This here I'm going, I wanted to use this, just kind of leave, leave this decorated free. Hmm. It doesn't matter which one I put that on. I think I'll, I think I'll put it on that way. And then I'll just cut the um, excess off. Okay, now how am I going to do this? Actually, maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just cut the paper. Make sure this is even. I'll just fold it. could probably just use a glue stick for this. But you know what? I didn't bring my glue sticks with me. They're not near me, so I'm just going to stick this on like that with my art glitter glue.
these envelopes are so pretty and you know like I said in my past videos that when I use these envelopes we get so many cards in the mail from different places and the cards and the envelopes are just gorgeous but you know you can you just use so many of them and you know to tell the truth people don't send cards like they used to for communication because you know, everybody talks to everybody on the phone daily that we do our how are you and hellos and happy birthdays you know Okay, I'm thinking I'm just going to put I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to use these purple flowers for back here. And I'm thinking I'm just going to tear it. going to tear that off that looks nice okay and I may take there's a hummingbird on the top part I'll probably tear that off and just place it on because this is a, the plain side of the envelope so I really don't have to cover anything up So I could put the hummingbird okay I'll just have to tear this down a little bit more Okay, we'll have to put the hummingbird like that. Oh, that looks quite nice. Okay, so this is decorated. And I have my coffee. I brought my coffee along. Okay, I just took a sip of it. Okay, so this I think I'm just going to put down. See, because I have all this to cover up. Okay, hmm. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is just fold it there. And I don't want to go all the way to the seam here because I want to be able to close the uh, envelopes. And sometimes it'll make it so heavy with the paper that you won't be able to close it. And I just want to make a little crease. Okay, let's see. I'm going to have to eyeball this. I think I'm just going to use my scissors. I didn't bring all my material with me. I didn't bring my cutter, I didn't bring my glue stick, but I brought everything else, I think. Okay. And over here, let's see if I, okay, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut this shorter than 
what I have folded. On this side too. I don't think you. I th I'm not sure if it's upside down or not, but I think it. It looks okay. Okay, let's get this glued down. It's so easy to see how different projects come along. You know, when I was making that, the uh, master board, and I wanted to put more of the ephemera on it, but I just ran out of space, and I didn't want to make it too cluttered. But that's the project that Tina was making. It was a, I couldn't think of the name, but it was a, it was a, Oh gosh, I just forgot the name again. Oh my goodness. She had a lot of ephemera on there and it was a, okay, it was a cluttered, a cluttered, um, it was a cluttered, oh God. Okay, okay, let me see if I can, it was a cluttered Master board. No, it wasn't. That wasn't the name of it. It was really cute the way she uh, named it. And I just forgot what it was, you know, how she had it, but it was really funny. Cluttered, clustered, master board. I think that's what it was. But she was getting tongue tied saying it. And yeah, you know, I'm getting tongue tied also. Okay, so for this one here, I was thinking of, you know, not covering the paper with any kind of ephemera other than just this covering the envelopes. But I'm not going to, I could use it as an envelope. You know, we could, you know, open the side here and put a journaling card in there. And I just may do that, but I want to get them in here first. And I'm thinking for this, I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac. And this is a new one, so I'm going to have to open it up. But these things are so hard to... I'll have to get it started with my scissors. Sometimes it's so hard I just poke it. Oh my gosh, I should have had this open beforehand. Let's see how well I got this. I'm going to stick the top in there. It's going to be a mess. Okay, let's see. Oh, that looks so pretty. There, that looks so pretty. And then this hair will be attached in here, up on the top. Oh my gosh, that's really pretty. So far, so good. Alrighty, so let's get to this side. Okay, so for this side, this is what's going to go in the back. I guess I'll have the envelopes going the same way. I didn't give that a thought. Alright, I'm going to put those papers off. 
Let's get these. And I have different color envelopes for this side here. I just wanted to make it a little different. Okay. So we're going to attach these two together. I'm sure this has been done before. Okay. Make sure I have them on. And then I'm going to attach these two. Okay, I'll attach this to this and then we'll get on with moving with attaching it to the back cover. Okay. Oh, this is going to be nice. That's my other topper. So like I was saying before, it's very quiet in my neighborhood right now. There's nobody mowing their lawns. And I thought, oh, what a great time to come on and do a video. I have Stella sitting here next to me taking her nap. Although it seems like she naps quite a bit during the day. We just got back from taking her to for a walk at the cemetery. I know I've mentioned that before. It's so funny, but that's where that's where she walks at the cemetery, which isn't far from our house. It's just a few blocks up. So it's quite close, but that's, you know, she won't walk in our neighborhood. You know, we take her out there and she just sits. And it's funny because, you know, she'll walk like up to the corner. So we'll walk there, but we have to carry her back. And if that's not the, like, the craziest thing to take your dog for a walk, but you end up carrying her, I'm just glad she's little. Because we look silly carrying her. Okay, so what do I do with the back? This is where I have the pieces of ephemera. This is going to go here. So this is going to go there. This is going to go there. And this is going to get something. There's nothing on here. Oh, I guess I didn't bring along a lot. Oh, I do have this here. Oh, that's pretty. Wait, that's the... This is the front for the topper. So this is here. This is here. Oh, that's... This here is going to get this. I thought I had this planned out a little better, and I did, so we're good. I'm going to tear this off. And, okay, this hair will stick right on here. That looks good. Okay. I just love these envelopes with the different, with the different uh, pictures on here. The flowers and whatnot. Okay, and I 
I could put a little something in that corner. I don't think I need it, but I'll just get this corner part off. Just trying to think if I really need that. No, you know I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put that there. I may take part of this, which is gonna be on here. And I may use this topper to put on. Let me just see if it'll if it'll go okay with it. Okay, this seems to be good right here. Get that. All right, I'm gonna cut this shorter than what it says because than what I'm folding because I think I'm folding it a little long. Oh boy, let's see. Before I cut it, I just want to see if I need to make any adjustments. <clears throat> Excuse me, just I'm just going to cut it a little short. On the inside of the fold that I have. This is so pretty, and this is an envelope. This is how, this is what the envelope looks like. Okay, so I have to shorten this a little bit. It's better to cut it a little bit too big. I just want to even this out because I cut it crooked on the top over here. And I just want to make that a little even. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. It's a little crooked, but I think this here is a little. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm going to glue this down. I'm really liking this folio. Okay, we'll get this down. And then I'm thinking I'll do the same thing on here with this envelope. The purple and blues, well actually it looks more lilac than purple. They go really pretty together, these colors. Okay, so I'll snip this off. 
get rid of that. And we'll glue this down. I'm anxious to see how this is going to turn out. Sometimes when I, before I fall asleep and I go to bed at night and I'm thinking in my head, you know, what I can do. And when I made the, um, when I made this second um, master board with some of these items that I didn't include in my, the big long master board, you know, I'm thinking I wanted to do something different. And that's what I came up with. And I think it's going to be nice. And I'm probably going to open up the envelopes and put journaling cards in there. And actually what I may do is, what I may do is cut up the first master board and use that as journaling cards in here. So I think I'm going to do this. See, this is a, this is a folder. So I have this open and I think I'm going to, I don't know. If this is too thin, I think I'm just going to cut them and then glue this because this is going to come, you know, it's going to come apart. So I'm just going to glue that and I'm going to make journaling cards out of that for inside these envelopes. So I think I'm going to get this on here now. So pretty. So I think I'll put the rest of these, this ephemera on here that I'm planning. And then we'll come back and cut up that board and make some journaling cards. If that's what I, I end up thinking, I think I will do that. I think I'll cut up the board. I mean, the envelopes here, open up the envelopes. Actually, when I was first thinking of doing this, I wanted this one here with the ruffles when you first open the book, but that's okay. It turned out to be over here, which is fine. Oh, this is going to be nice because it's going to have quite a few tucks. So, so when I come, I think I'm going to call it a video right now and look how pretty that's going to be. I just love this. I love these, these floral pages. This is from my floral book flowers of New Britain and some of the pages are darker and some of them are lighter and it just it turned out so nice and then of course I put the Mod Podge on top of it and it I think I also inked it I inked it so it has a, the vintage look to it and and then I put the Mod Podge on it, and I just love the way the, the feel of Mod Podge when it's on here. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do today, and we'll come back and probably finish it off. I want to get lace in the middle here, because this is quite strong. So I want to put some lace, or this is going to be kind of, when I get everything in here, it's going to be kind of thick, so I may even put lace and maybe a thin ruffle. I don't know. And then I'll, we'll have these inside here. So this is what I was thinking we would do. And then I'll have a, a tuck here and maybe some tucks on all the pages. So this is going to be lots of flips and tucks. So that's it. Thank you so much for coming along and joining me. And we'll be back to finish this flip folio together. Okay, thank you so much. You have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.